Check, 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 and we're live. Hey, everyone, welcome back to the Hidden Brick, where today we're going to build the LEGO Speed Champions McLaren Mercedes Pit Stop. So I have my mic on this time. The last video I recorded, I accidentally, inadvertently didn't have the mic on, so my bad. This time we got it on, so you get to hear my wonderful voice. How great is that? So the McLaren Mercedes Pit Stop, this is based on a real McLaren Formula One racer, which I like. There's the parts. So unlike the previous Speed Champions that we've already built, this one's a little bit different because it has a little bit more than just the car. It has a little pit stop area. So we have a few more bags than the other ones. We do have our instruction books number one and number two. There should be a sticker sheet in here somewhere. I'd be surprised if these were all printed pieces. Oh, oh there it is. It was in between the two instruction books. So look at that, a foil-backed large uh, sticker sheet with a lot of stickers on it. So if you love stickers, this is the set for you. So we've got three numbered bags, plus we have a, um, a loose plate was in the, in the box. Not gonna waste any time. We're gonna go ahead and get into bag number one. There's a couple smaller bags in this big bag. All right. Spread those parts out a bit so I can see what's going on. So we have our race car driver. We'll go ahead and build him first. And he has a slightly different torso. The other torsos, you see, don't have the, the red printing on it like the race car driver does. And let's see. There's three different heads as well. So we'll make sure to get the right one. So the race car driver has a little grin on his face. Blue racing helmet and a smoke trans gray windscreen on his helmet. So the other two minifigures, the legs and torsos are identical. There is a male version. It just has a plain kind of straight face. And he's wearing a red baseball cap with some ear protection. And the female figure is wearing a white hat. These two figures have a couple accessories. The first one is the stop sign. And we get the first sticker of the set already. So you have a stop sign. And then the next figure gets a little clipboard. All right, so she's holding the clipboard that has some lap times or other 
critical data on it. So that's cool. So now we're going to start building the, um, the racer. Move my camera slightly so we can see everything that's going on. Don't want you to miss anything. Lot of black and light bluish gray in the set so a lot of it blends together we'll figure it out though stickers now sticker number five just like all the other previous racers we do have the stickers numbered on the sticker sheet so they're easier to find sticker number three there it is So what this is, is basically the front end of the um, racer that can be changed out when they do a pit stop. So we'll put that to the side. Now we're going to start building the actual racer. Turn this over. ton of small parts in the set so far. There's not a lot of big stuff. All right. So this is the tail portion.
Oopsie daisies. All right. Sticker time, sticker number eight. have four of these one by one Technic bricks with the little Technic pin in there with the stud on one side. attached to the studs we just added in those Technic bricks. Basically do the other side now. Sticker number 11. Number two, just a foil piece. Doesn't have any decoration on it at all.
All right, two stickers on this one brick. Sticker number seven. And sticker number 10. stickers. We're going to be doing this a lot. There's sticker 15 and sticker 16. This sticker is not numbered because it's pretty unique on the sheet. It's not hard to miss this one. All right, now we're going to do the beginnings of the wheels and tires. of the axle and then there's a half bushing slid all the way down to touch the wheel and then a full bushing all the way down slide these into the Technic bricks with pinholes and we basically take and do the opposite on the other side. The full bushing, half bushing, and then the wheel. Full bushing, half bushing, and wheel. So that creates the wheels and tires. Now we're gonna build the other front end element We've already built one. Time for more stickers, yay. Sticker number 12 goes right here in the middle. Sticker number six.
sticker 14. Sticker 17. axle in there and then that simply just slides on it attaches right there so that completes the race car so now we're going to move on to instruction book number two which um, includes oh so let me show you this, uh, this front end piece you basically can slide this one off and attach the other one on they are for the most part the same except for one has the stickers on the sides and um, yeah and then the other one you can see this one just has regular slopes this one has the little slotted slopes as far as racing terms I don't know if uh, that creates a different aerodynamic flow of air but it is what it is So we're doing bag two, it's also shown in the instruction book to grab this loose plate that came in the box. So we'll probably use it for something soon. stand with a little golden goblet or cup on it. that to the side, move on to this next piece.
right, getting pretty close here. This whole piece attaches right there. And that completes bag number two. So this is the final bag, bag number three. Lot of these large elements. We do have a few more wheels and tires. Those are spare ones. Small bag of parts. And this is pretty cool. It's a little bag of and tools and power tools. These are the newer style, so they're a little bit more detailed than previously. You have a, a socket wrench, you got the tire iron, you've got a crescent wrench, hammer, wrench, oil can, screwdriver, closed bolt wrench. So a lot of cool pieces in there. drill and the oil can inside those doors. Seal those away. All right, we do have four, or I'm sorry, three little uh, computer screens here. So they get stickers, of course. And I'm very carefully trying to put these on as straight as possible.
pretty big sticker there. And this is basically a little sign that goes over the computer screens. Bring this element back over. That attaches right there. Go ahead and attach our other tools on this little workbench area. There's all of our tools. Now we have four of these structural column pieces. Actually, we have five of them. Okay, starting to look like a little pit stall now. Some light bluish gray tiles. Hold all this together. front end piece for the car goes right over here so we've created a nice little storage rack for it next we have some Technic elements These are little air pneumatic wrenches for the tires. sticker now. I 
there. All the stickers are gone. with another loud healer piece attached to it. Bring that around. Have some dials and gauges. And that completes the, the entire pit stop scene. So we're done. Let me move this up a bit so we can see it a little bit better. There we go. We've got some other racers off to the side there. You could probably see them. So here's our scene. We have our race car. We have some pit equipment. Um, This thing is a little launcher, a launch pad. So you attach that racer to and then you push it down and it launches them off. Pretty cool little play feature. We have some spare tires. Of course your pit area. You have a driver and then two pit crew. So there you go, that's it for this one. It's the uh, Lego Speed Champions McLaren Mercedes Pit Stop. Pretty cool little set. Tell me your thoughts, put a comment down below. Um, thanks for sticking with this, all audio and all. I know my previous video didn't have audio, so um, I may have gained some more viewers with no audio. I may be losing some with all the talking I did on this video. But either way, it's fun, it's fun for me, so hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.